Hello, Taurus. This is your bonus reading for the end of February uh, 2020. Looking for new energies and positive energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And new energies and positive energies for the five-card spread. Okay? I also already put out, um, or going to put out your March reading. So look for that. I will attach it to the end of the screen as soon as possible at the end screen. But like I said, this is for tours, and I'm looking for new energies, you know, for the end of February 2020. As you know, this will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, but I hope to reach the masses. And I also give a love reading at the end, so stick with me. Let's see what we got here. Coming in energy for Taurus. The sun in reverse. You're not quite 100% happy with the situation in your life. It's not that you're miserable. The sun card in reverse is not miserable. It's just like, ah, uh, you're having trouble, you know, getting up motivation, feeling 100% like yourself. For some of you, if you live in, you know, um, in the States, you, you may have like the winter blues and you're hoping for spring to come. But it's just, you know, someone's feeling blah. Past position. Five of Wands in reverse. Trying to avoid arguments. Trying to overcome arguments. And maybe you even have. Okay? With a lover situation as the obstacle. And I do clarify these. So stick with me on that. Because, you know, the story does change up. Uh, current environment for Taurus is the Prince of Wands. The Prince of Wands could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or someone with a really short temper that you're dealing with. Or someone with messages that are all over the place. And... Or the non-committal. It's all kind of reasons, but I'll clarify. Outside environment, the chariot, maybe they're holding back a little. Maybe they're not showing um, love as much or the emotions as much as you would like. That's why we do the love reading at the end, too. And you're not just 100% happy with the Nine of Cups of Reverse. It doesn't mean it won't come in if it's in reverse. Remember, that it means um, you're still dealing with it. You know, you're still dealing with it. You're not happy with the way a person is showing their feelings towards you. Move this down just a tea bit if I can. It's so tight there. This contraption, I call it. But you're not just 100% happy. And I'm going to clarify these. And I'll give the love reading. Because this is just the energy you're feeling. You're feeling like something's not going anywhere. It doesn't mean that it isn't. It's just someone's not showing you a whole lot of love. Or the, the way you like to be shown love. To, at, you know, in a way you like to be presented love to you. From another individual. So let's go back. Find out what's going on. We've got strife card in reverse. You, you don't want to start an argument though. Or maybe you did have an argument. It's ended. But you're still not happy. It's not that you're miserable. Like I said, it's just a little bit of a blip for a lot of you. So let's find out for, for real. Five of Wands. I need two cards for Taurus in the past position. And yes, I do shuffle these prior and meditate on the sign. I always, always meditate. But sometimes I shuffle for like 30 minutes. I don't think you want to watch that long. But I need two cards to see why, you know, you come out of arguments. It could have something to do with money or finances or overall stability, and you're trying to gain success. So I feel like some of you are holding back on really letting it out, what you're feeling to somebody, you know, someone in your life. Uh, you like your security. You like success. You're hoping it'll blow over. And you didn't say everything you wanted to say. For some of you, you may have blown up a little, you know. Obstacle is a lover, you know. The lover is in reverse, Someone's acting up, or you feel like they're acting up, or they may feel like you're acting up. So I need two cards for the lovers in reverse, please, for Taurus. Remember, we're going through a Mercury in retrograde, so communications are really screwed up, you know? Take that into consideration before you make final decisions on any relationship anyway. I need two cards for the lovers in reverse. I can't even... These are sticking. You're just not happy with the Nine of Cups. You're not happy with a lover. There it is again, the lovers. It's very important that, you know, you're just not happy with them. You want to be happy with them, you know. And maybe they want to be happy with you, but, you know, you butt heads. Prince of Wands, short-tempered, maybe spout it off at you. The one thing about the Prince of Wands, though, they don't stay angry for very long, usually, you know. Yeah, someone's trying to avoid a fight. 
Maybe it did get a little aggressive with the Five of Swords in reverse. They're holding back a little bit too, or they're, or they, um, it, it may have started out that way, and now they're like pulling back a little because they don't want it to get too out of hand. But the Prince of Wands and the Five of Swords, both in reverse, as the current environment. I need another card, please. So. Yeah, and they, they're thinking about ending a situation, not necessarily, maybe ending arguments, too. So someone may have threatened this. And when people see this card, I shouldn't even name it, because it always gets me held back by the algorithm. But it's like, someone may have said, well, I'm just going to end this, and, and the other person pops off, too, you know. But it doesn't mean a total type of ending. It could be that people just said this to each other. But be careful you know, if you're going to end something with during Mercury and retrograde. But one thing at last I see during this time is when people really, really end it, it stays that way, and it's usually painful. Um, so just let it go, you know, arguments. I see someone doesn't want, I feel like someone doesn't want it to end because of the Five of Swords in reverse. You know, even though they popped off, maybe you don't want it to end or they don't want it to end. But people are just... Um, Really just had a bit of a tiff, I see. Outside environment, the chariot in reverse, someone's not trying hard enough with you, you know? You feel this way. You feel like they, or it could be that things were chaotic also with the chariot in reverse. So I need two cards for the chariot in reverse, please. Two cards. The sun in reverse, like I said, someone's actually 100% happy. Uh, Knight of Cups, emotions. They're not offering their emotions right now with the Knight of Cups. Some are dealing with possibly a water sign, but I don't think so in this case. I mean, it could be um, any sign. I mean, let's face it. I'm dealing with a lot of Taurus here. They're dealing with a lot of different energies. But um, what I see as the Knight of Cups is someone's not offering a little cup of love or sunshine right now. They're just not happy because things got a little chaotic or came to a halt. This wants to pop out. I'm going to let it. Someone's obsessed with being happy, okay? Someone's obsessed or chained to a person. They feel like they are tied to this person. I need two more cards for the happiness. And the obsession card, in a way, as the ending result. And I'll do the love reading. You need a love reading. Two cards, please, for Taurus. Yeah, someone's thinking about walking away, but they're obsessed because their emotions are all over the place. Some of you could be dealing with the air sign also, or those energies need to be adjusted quickly for this to be rectified in any type of way. But I see people just, you know, feeling, you know, a little upset because of arguments. And it could have to do with money also because I see that Ten of Pentacles and I see that Six of Pentacles, which has, which has a lot to do with stability and finances. And maybe someone spent too much, or maybe they weren't helping out too much, and someone said something, and the other one popped off, and as the other one says, well, I'll just leave, and the other one says, go ahead. And I see this as an argument, mostly. Because I would have thought otherwise if I saw this card in Upright, where someone says, you know, I feel defeated, I'm gone, but it's in reverse, or holding back on this ending. But they still are upset or you are upset and someone's obsessed with someone saying they were going to walk away or um, or maybe they said it. I see this going back and forth, to be honest with you. But I'm going to give you a love reading. I'll be right back. It's just showing me that you had a bit of a blip and it's still kind of feeling there at the end of February. I do believe you probably had it a little bit before the end of February, like maybe mid-February for some of you, maybe even earlier than that. But it just shows me towards the end of February, and I did give a uh, March reading, or I will be giving a March reading. I'll be attaching it to this at, at, the, at the end screen, you know. Now, let me give you a love reading, a quick one, and I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Hello, Taurus. This is a short love reading. We definitely need it for what's going on with you. In that last reading, I do see someone getting upset with a partner in some way. I think it's mostly a love partner because I saw the lover's card twice, okay? So this, I need three cards from the angels because we need information for Taurus right away. We do for the end of February. Bonus reading. I noticed that the person um, Taurus is dealing with is feeling a little upset themselves. A little down and out over whatever happened. But I need three cards from the angel answers. Or the, actually, this is the angel, the angel um, love cards. Romance. Three cards, please. 
If you don't want to see me shuffle, just fast forward it. But you can pick a section, you know, energy, if you want, if you feel compelled. I do bring them all together in the end anyway, because they all relate sometimes. Oftentimes they do. And I'm getting three cards from the Angel Answers for Taurus. And then I'm going to pick three cards from the uh, Twin Flame messages that may or may not relate to these three. But I thought people like them, so I'm going to give it... Three cards from the Angel Answers for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies for Taurus. New energies, positive energies for Taurus. This is for the end of February 2020. Let's see what's going on. I'm thinking about that last reading is what's going on in my head right now. Trying to figure out a solution. And the solution is don't pop off on each other. Let it let it die down. The, those anger energies. Because I'm, I'm telling you that Mercury and retrograde stuff is bite. It really is. So let that stuff go. But we need three cards from the Twin Flame messages. Extra message for Taurus about their Twin Flame. Three cards, please, for Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Let go of control issues, whether you or your partner. You need to let go of control issues. You know, don't push too hard, and they shouldn't push too hard with you, and someone needs to reconsider the situation. Maybe, like I said, someone threatened to walk away. They need to reconsider. This person is wondering if they are even good enough for you in the twin flame. That's what they're thinking. Am I even good enough for you? Or maybe you're feeling this way towards them. But it says someone needs to let go of control issues for this thing to be uh, rectified. You know, uh, pride has a lot to do with that for some of you. But others, it's, you know, maybe they had a good reason. But it, it says to reconsider your situation. But if you're in a dangerous situation or you feel like, you know, you can't, maybe there's something going on, then um, always protect yourself first, okay? It is safe for you to love again. So if love comes to you, okay, if you feel like love is gone, um, it is safe to love again. Love will come again. But say no to the red flags, to people. You know, say no. It's safe for you to love, but no one to say no to the people that aren't right for you. Sometimes um, we think there's nothing else better for us out there, and we take in the wrong people. When the right people are about to enter in, it's like something, uh, you know, I don't know what happens, sends um, negativity, negative people. It's like you got to choose what you're wanting. And for some reason, we're drawn to those negative type people and those energies. Like we got to do something about that. They care about what others think right now, okay? If you got a person that's a red flag, they're too busy thinking of what other people think. You know, um, or you may be thinking this, you care about what others think. It's safe for you to love again, but realize that you may be like pushing away people that are right for you, but you're too afraid to go with them because you're always wondering what people will think. Sometimes, you know, you got to let that go. But reconsider, you know, the people. I think you should reconsider the people that are right for you and get rid of the red flag people. Let go of the people that are too controlling. I've been seeing that in a lot of the readings, okay? Just free yourself from negativity and negative people if you want to. There is new love coming in, no, no, but no. realize you must say no to the negatives, to people that give you the red flags, okay? Free yourself from the negative situation. Because if you free yourself from the negative situation, um, your health will improve. It also could be uh, saying free yourself from all the arguments and the fighting. You know, free yourself from the control issues that are around you. And the people around you also need to know this. You know, it's safe to love again. Sometimes people get control issues because they fear they'll lose somebody. You got to put a stop to something to the negative situation that is coming in, okay? And people are always wondering what other people think. Maybe friends are kind of butting their heads in. You know, you shouldn't see this person or that person for whatever reason. And they may be hearing this too. So it's oftentimes we got to like, I don't know, don't worry about what others think right now. Deal with your um, the situations that's going on in your own life. And the end card, they just got caught up in the moment. I saw that quite um, clearly in that last reading. It was all a lot of just um, 
aggressive energy where people just didn't realize that, you know, they just popped off, they got caught up in the moment. That has a lot to do with that Prince of Wands in reverse. They can get really caught up in the moment when they get in reverse. And so can Taurus when they're confronted with something. But realize this, that someone around you, or maybe even you, need to let go of those control issues and consider reconsider what's going on. You should free yourself either from, if it's that bad, because sometimes there's relationships relationships are that bad go ahead and free yourself to be healthy for a while now it is safe to love again either way if you want to sit there and take on a person as long as they're not harmful to you know when to say no that's what i'm saying but also do not reject the good people that are meant for you and i see that happening a lot with Taurus. you know now this person is thinking they're not good enough for you but they also are listening to what other people are saying or, you know, and they care about what other people think. And I hate that. That's one of the one things I hate. And someone also got caught up in a moment and popped off, you know. So it's up to you. Do you want to get this person back right now or do you want to just take a little bit of a break and free yourself to improve your health? Do you want to go back and, and try again? It's up to you. You could possibly try again. But I also see in a lot of the readings for Taurus that they had somebody else that it's got their eye on them, you know? That person is, is looking from a distance, not really a distance, but they're waiting possibly for you to free yourself from this. They're not going to approach you until you get rid of negative energy if you're looking for new love. They're waiting for you to clear this out. No one wants um, the baggage you're going to carry over and then blame them at the same time for past endings of past partners. You know, We have a way of carrying that over if we're not done and finished with that energy. So this is your reading, Taurus. It's up to you. You can take this person back. I, I feel that if you wanted to. But it'll, you'll have the same control issues. You need to say no when that happens. You need to say you can't do this. You can't, you know, push me around. You, you know, you have a right to, you know, love. And you have a right to, you know, your good health. So it's up to you. I'll stop preaching. I'll talk to you later. I'll upload this soon. Bye.